Hey everybody, it's Brett here with The Tuning School, and today I'm gonna to be installing the ProFlex Commander by Advanced Field Dynamics on our 2011 Ford Mustang. So the ProFlex Commander by Advanced Fuel Dynamics is essentially a plug and play flex fuel system. Now this one's specifically designed for our Mustang, so it's gonna be real easy to install. But essentially what it is, the, the brains of the operation is gonna be this little box right here. This is essentially a computer that's going to intercept the signal coming from our vehicle's computer, change up the fueling delivery inside of here, and then send that information to the injector, essentially compensating for the E85 that we're gonna put in the gas tank. So the kit comes with this, this is the important part right here. It obviously is going to come with a flex fuel sensor, that way it actually knows what the ethanol content is and knows how much it needs to change the fueling by. And then it's gonna come with this harness. So the way that this harness is going to work is you've got two plugs. So one plug goes to the injector and the other plug goes to the engine harness. And it's essentially intercepting that signal, sending it to our brains here, our little control module, and then it's sending information back to the injector through the harness compensating for the 85. So the first thing we're gonna do is unplug the factory harness from the injectors and replace it with the ProFlex Commander harness. Let's get started. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to lay out the harness to the location where we want to mount the ProFlex Commander unit. And we're just gonna figure out which strand is the longest and which one's shorter, because that will determine on which side of the engine each will go on. So we got one bank here, we've got another bank here. So this one will go on that side, and the shorter one here will stay on this side. Now we're just gonna have to wrap these wires and tuck them away. So I've got the longest, to the next longest, to the next longest, to the shortest here. So you see you've got three varying lengths there, or four varying lengths there. So you have to make sure that the longest one ends up in the injector that's furthest away. So go here. And then this other plug goes down on top of the injector. But that's essentially one side complete. So what we can do now is we can go to the other side. So on the, that plug for the harness, and then that one goes down on the injector. Figure out which one's second longest. It looks like it's going to be this one. So we'll plug this in. They make it pretty easy, thankfully, to tell which one's the longest. So the links are pretty, pretty easy to tell the difference from, so you can't accidentally mix them up, which is good. And then we just kind of tuck all of these guys down here. So it looks nice and cleaner. And that's that. So at that point, we've now got our injector harness installed. So what I've done is I've actually routed the harness with the main plug underneath the coolant tank here. Uh, and so I did that because I plan on mounting the ProFlex box right here on this strut tower mount, just so everybody can kind of see it. So what we have to do now is we have to actually put the ethanol content sensor in line. Uh, we're gonna be doing that using this plug here and we're gonna have to remove the fuel line and replace it with their fuel line jumper instead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this line here and we're gonna put one end of it into our eth ethanol sensor. Um, but what we have to do is we have to actually remove the stock fuel line first. So what we'll have to do is just press these two little plastic tabs right here, and then this fuel line just slides right off, just like so. And then what will happen is one end of this, of our ethanol content sensor, will go into that line. There's a plastic piece on the OEM fuel line and it's got tabs that are behind this notch on the OEM fuel line. We just have to use a, a screwdriver to just kind of pry it up a little bit 
to get it to clear that notch. So let's see if I can do this. This screwdriver here. Obviously I don't want to break it, so I'm going to be kind of careful, not bend it too far, because breaking it would turn into more of a hassle in the long run than not. So I got that one, that side's off. Now I'm going to grab the other side really quick. So, yep, right there, got it. So this is the plastic piece right here that's going to hold this whole deal together. So what we'll do is it'll just slide it over the ethanol sensor here and it'll just pop right into place. Now what that does is it gives us the ability to plug in the OEM line now right onto the ethanol sensor itself. So now it's perfectly locked into place. It's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna blow apart. So now that we've got that done, we're gonna take the provided line from the Advanced Fuel Dynamics guys, and we're gonna plug one end of it to the OEM line, and we're gonna plug the other end of it to the ethanol sensor just like so. So now what that's gonna do is it's gonna provide fuel to the engine, but before it gets to the engine, it's actually going to run it through the ethanol content sensor so we can figure out exactly what the ethanol content's going to be. You see, it's like a nice clean little install. Doesn't even look too intrusive. So the last thing that we need to do is we have to take this ground eyelet right here, and we have to bolt it right here to this ground. Now the instructions say to go to a strut tower bolt up here, but I actually, there's already a ground right here, so I prefer to just go right here because I know it's a ground for sure. I don't have to worry about not getting good ground through the paint. So I just got to remove that little eight millimeter bolt right there. 10 millimeter bolt, I should say, excuse me. And what we'll do, once we've got that off, we'll drop the new eyelet right inside there. So I'll just put the eyelet right here and we will use the nut here, or the bolt, and it'll go right back down where it came from. So get that down there, just like that. And now I can tighten it back down. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually stick this guy right here to the strut tower. We've got the harness plugged in just for fitment purposes to make sure that I get it lined up correctly. So I'm just gonna pull the 3M adhesive off the back, this little liner here. So we're just gonna pull that off right there. And what we'll do is I'm just gonna line it up exactly where I want it. And then we're just gonna stick it right down to the strut tower. Get a good firm press on there. And that pretty much is gonna wrap up our install. So now what I've done is I've downloaded the ProFlex Commander app to my phone, and I'm actually gonna connect to the unit via Bluetooth, and it's gonna spit out exactly how much ethanol content is currently in the fuel we're using. So let me fire the Mustang up real quick. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and connect. It's gonna scan for the unit. And right here, we're connected. We've got 20% ethanol, 19% ethanol already in this fuel. So it's instantly giving us an ethanol reading. So now that we're gonna do is we're gonna dump some E85 into this and see what we can't get this number up to. So here we are, I'm gonna connect the app again. I've got Bob here with some fresh E85. He's gonna be pouring it in the car once I get the uh, app connected and the car started. And we're gonna see if we can get the ethanol content to change on the app live. So first thing I gotta do is I've got the key on. I'm gonna click connect, it's gonna scan for the device. Now it realizes it's here and we've already got 19% ethanol, that was what we saw before. So now I'm gonna start the car up. I'm gonna have Bob start to pour some of that fresh E85 in. We started to pick up some of that E85 and our content's actually gonna go up. So as we sit here, this should get a little bit higher. We're up to about 30% now. 32. 
So this is all happening live. This is actual content getting sent to the engine as I rev the car up. It's grabbing some more of that fuel from the tank. The content's actually headed upwards and you can see it happen right here live inside the app. Well, there you have it folks, that's the ProFlex Commander System from Advanced Fuel Dynamics. If you're interested in learning more about this product, we're going to link uh, Advanced Fuel Dynamics contact information down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you might use this product in the future. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also check out our other videos and if you're interested in any tuning products, check out our website.